Hi, and welcome to this Cinema 3 tutorial on customization. Today I'll sh give you an uh, introduction to the materials and perhaps make it a little more um, easier for new users to make their own materials. So, uh, uh, when making a material, you will first, first have to make a standard material. Um, I have my materials up here, but uh, on the uh, standard layout for Cinema 4D, they are located down here. So double click to make a new material, and double click the material to get into the uh, settings. So up here you can see how the material will look, and down here you have all the uh, different settings. So let's start with the first thing, which is color. Color. I mean, uh, here you can just set what color you color you want the material to be. If you want it blue, or if you want it uh, dark grayish blue, or dark green blue, dark green. Yeah, you can just set the m material color up here. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Or you can also load in a uh, noise, or a texture, for, as example a noise. And by let's see, let's by clicking this little window here, you get into the uh, noise settings, and you can select different types of noise, and you can scale it so it's really big, and you can change the low clip and the high clip. All right, and up here is the uh, you can also. Um, you can also uh, rotate rotate the preview object by left right clicking and dragging um, to get uh, on uh, normally this window is uh, this small I have said it at uh, huge uh, another thing that's uh, smart to do is to uh, change the uh, the um, uh, Object to a uh, double torus. It gives it gives a better uh, view of the material. All right. Okay. Let's go back to color and by clicking here or going back up here. I'll just go back. Okay. Oh, and you can also change the colors. See. Pretty. Okay. Uh, just clear this because we want it to be orange. Um, in the th diffusion channel, you can load up a uh, dirt map, as example, or just uh, something, a, a map that lies on top of the uh, texture, to uh, either to uh, highlight certain things or to just uh, um, make it more dirty. So let's say just select the uh, quenel and uh, make it really big. Go back to Diffusion and uh, set Mix Strength to let's say 60. And now we have this uh, orange material that is uh, have this very slight uh, diffusion map onto it. Um, luminance is uh, just... Um, it, it's... Uh, it isn't affected by shadows, so if your material has luminance, it will not uh, get shadows and it will uh, light up even if there's no uh, light source. But we don't want that right now. Uh, oh, and as usual, you can load in a noise and everything else: uh, effects, ambient occlusion, backlight, channel loom, distortion, fall off, all those good things. Okay, uh, transparency uh, selects how uh, uh, transparent your material is going to be. Let's say it, uh, if you want it to be, let's say, glass, we'll just set this to, uh, let's say, 90%. And uh, the refraction for glass is 0.32. Or is that water? I think uh, 52 is the correct one. 
now we have this uh, glassy material and we can also load in a texture as usual as I noise so uh, it will just be uh, transparent where it's uh, the material is black or is it white I don't remember let's see okay it will only be transparent where it is uh, white just uh, clear this and uh, absorption is uh, a, a very handy thing this uh, is the color that the glass will get after the light has traveled through the glass at 100 meters or 10 meters right now it's white so we won't see any difference but if we set it to red you'll see it's uh, it becomes red when the light travels through it and uh, when it reaches 215 meters it will become that color it will will become very very red and the blurriness it's uh, it uh, it um, sets how blurry the glass will be so let's say it set it to 34 and it should soon update and uh, this can take a while. There we see it's become very uh, blurry. You can see through it. This uh, blurriness it's uh, very uh, render heavy. It takes a long time to render, so you might uh, want to um, not use it so much. Only use if use it if it is very necessary. <coughs> I'll just uncheck transparency and go back to ref go over to reflections this uh, ob obviously enough uh, sets how reflective your material is going to be and what color it should be so I'll just set it to a bit of uh, orange color and um, on the texture this is uh, pretty, impo pretty important if you want uh, photorealism you should always load in a Fresnel in the uh, tick in the um, texture channel on reflection because if I go back to sphere you can see it is reflective on the edges and not on the top this is what you would see in real life with uh, let's say um, if you look at water still water and if you look at it at a low angel angle you will see that it reflects more of the if it if re it reflects more when you are looking at it at a low angle than if you are looking straight onto it at in 90 degrees so when you are looking straight at it it doesn't reflect but on the edges it reflects it's a bit too right now it's a bit too heavy i don't want it to reflect that much so i'll just set this down and on the i want it to ref reflect a little bit on the top so i'll just set this to uh, 7% all right on the un environment you can load in uh, 